So we have bat here. Bat, what are you gonna cook? Well, some curry goat. Put some good pepper in it. So tell us what are you gonna need to make the curry goat. Well, first and foremost, we need the goat. Right. Right, so this goat done clean already. Tell them how to clean the goat. How do you clean your goat? And how to wash it. Right, okay. You can take out like majority of the fat from the meat itself, mm -hmm. right? And then you can wash it with some salt and flour, like basic. Okay. Oh, a lot of people ask why do you need to add salt and flour? What does the salt do? What does the flour do? Cut the fresh, the slime mm -hmm. from the meat. Okay. So what I have here, some seasoning that I blend. Mm -hmm. This is what you have here, like banana, onion, garlic, pimento. Pepper. Okay. So we're gonna season this meat now. Mm -hmm. Right? And you know we Chinese love with green seasoning. Alright, this is black pepper. Right, so there will be local curry where we have duck and goat. Mm -hmm. And we this have some other tap cali cala brand inside here. Okay. This is as local as, as it gets. Mm -hmm. And what's the purpose of seasoning the goat with the curry? Yeah, the flavor. Okay, so for the flavor to soak in, yes. right? Right, and some acha masala. Mm -hmm. Some black arm jar masala. Yeah. Right, and we put some salt. Mm -hmm. Just add salt to your preference. You could always add more salt, but you can't take salt out. You could, eh? Just wash the meat. <laughs> yeah, right. but then you had to cook the thing over again. Right, so just mix it up. Mm -hmm. But what kind of thing is that? You're supposed to use your hands. No, but no. It's pepper roast now. I'm afraid that one. Right. Let it simmer down for about a, a 20 minutes. Okay. Then we'll start Let's soak in that seasoning. Yes, that's had a real soak. Okay. I mean, overnight is always best, but we making a little spontaneous lime now, so we're going to leave it for half an hour to an hour to let it marinate and then we'll cook it. Hi everyone, so we are cooking with Batman today. So I'm gonna be the sous chef. So Bat are gonna follow your orders today. Yes, I will. So we have some onions, garlic, pimento and some hot pepper. So we're going to use this to chunky the goat. We also have a basic green seasoning. So this is just shadow banyo, or bandana, hot pepper and garlic. So please. So sous chef, we should throw the oil. Okay. I don't cook with a lot of oil, right? So. Tango on the stuff. Good. This is whole jira. This right? is jira, also called cumin seeds. Right. Let's try to put it. This is called as a curry leaf. Carapilly. Yes. Right. Please step back. So, chef. So, we're going to turn the onions in. For everything. Got it. Come on, you want to have that. You're also going to turn it between two. I also wanted to show you all we whole set up here with the gas tank and the stand. This is how we do it in Trinidad. This is the Cora package. <laughs> right, we're gonna go Cora, this is what we have. Alright, so we're gonna do the dry curry. You can put this in water and mix them with protein, but we need to use fashion oil. This is some color brand. Uh, 
of jira. This is roasted ground jira or roasted ground cumin seed. And this is black amchar masala. That should be So you just want this to patch in the hot oil, all of this. Right. Some more curry. What's that? That's some curry. And the water is gonna help to create a thick slurry. So what we have here is a thick curry slurry. So you just want this to chunky or dry down a little bit. And when it dries down with the water, then we'll add the gota. Because you want the curry and all the spices to cook properly. And when you notice... Because what happens when the curry... When you see this cook, you'll see the point coming up. Yeah. So that's when you know the curry is good. It starts to get kind of green. Yeah. Yeah, you'll see the oil separated. So this will just take between four to five minutes to completely turn into that greeny consistency and that's what you're looking for. Okay, so now we're gonna add the goat into the that curry slurry and take a look at it how it's supposed to look. So you just wanna add all the goat in there and turn it up. I'm going to eat this goat, or I'm going to end up by the pool station because I'm going to up because it's going to be lashing. <laughs> right, we just, you're going to cook it now, cover the pot and then spring the water. Okay, so what you want to do is cover the goat, let it spring its natural juices, and then when we come back, we'll show you all what to do next. So how long has it been? Like 10 minutes? 10 minutes, sorry. Yeah. So let me check it out. So you see the goat kind of um, spring its natural juices, so you don't need to add any liquid yet. This liquid out of dry out. Yeah, so it's going to cook down in its own juices, and when that dries out, we'll add some more liquid to create a gravy or a sauce. It smells good over. Yeah. And I actually don't eat goat. <laughs> You'll try it. Yeah. Right, put some more bean season on it. So you're just building layers of flavor yes. into the goat. I said I'll put some more acha masala and some grind jira in it. Oh, so you like to finish it up with some grind jira? Yeah. Okay. Right? Yes, sushi. So leave it uncovered now. Yes, sushi. Until that liquid dries out. When that dries out, we'll come back and show you all what to do next. Okay, so what are you going to add now, Bath? I'm well, just going to put some more acha masala and okay. some grind jira. And let it patch up a little bit in it so you can add additional flavor. Okay. Put some more pepper too. More pepper? Yeah. See how that bungee down? Looking good. So you just want all the water to dry down or you want the goat to bungee and as soon as that happens, we'll add some more water. So everything done bungee down already, so just want to add the water and let it bubble up a little bit. This is about two and a half cups of water. Yeah, with a little bit of seasoning yeah. left over. And sometimes goat takes very long to cook, so you have to very long. That's what I got good together. Big fresh goat. young goat. So young goat, fresh goat, frozen goat. Yeah. Most of them I get kangaroo too. So you just have to feel it out, make sure it's cooked properly. Yeah. And some people when they cook in curry, just put coconut milk. Yeah. Nah, we don't yeah. really like coconut milk. Unless it's crab and dumpling. Yeah. Oh. 
Pasta. As you can see, the first water will throw. Dry out. So it's just splashing right now again. Mm -hmm. And we just want to add some more water. So this water is to make the gravy or the sauce. And like I mentioned earlier, the goat sometimes takes very long to cook. So you have to feel it to make sure it's cooking and make sure it's getting soft. If, it, if you find it's too hard, you could add more water and let it keep cooking down until it softens up. And you can add some boiling water to this instead of room temperature water. Alright. So this is some... Um... Shadow Benny yeah. or Bandania. So we just cook in the river. <laughs> we have some white oak. We take a drink. Some green seasoning. Yeah. So the recipe for this green seasoning will be listed in the upper right hand corner. Right here. You'll find the video on how to make it. So this is like what? The third time it's boiling. Yeah. Mmm, that is good. They have good salt, good pepper, everything. Everything. So it's just for it to dry down all the yeah, juice. Exactly. Yeah, that tastes rather. Right and I don't really eat pork. So this tastes rather. Right so as you may see, this is the finished product of this great curry food. So we want a little bit of gravy, so we're going to thin it off at this point. If you want this to have a very thick gravy, like Cutters, you want to eat this like cutters or appetizers, then let it reduce completely so that there's no liquid and there's just a thick coating of the curry sauce on the outside. So thin it off fast because you don't want it to um, reduce too much. So, how long did this take to go? Uh, approximately an hour. Hour and a half, hour. Yeah. Depending, do you want to make sure um, the goat is really nice and tender? So you're gonna taste that? Yeah, of course. Well, you had a taste because you cook it. So we're gonna sample a few pieces here. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's so fun. Bursting with flavors. Fireworks in December come early. It lash. Tell the police will come. I can't believe how soft it is though. Yeah. Mm. Alright, so tell the people if you don't have um, a cast iron pot, what else they could cook this in? Nothing. Don't even bother to Don't even try that. Alright, well, I guess you. Oh, you're gonna have to buy a lodge from Amazon and you'll be good to go. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. So, should be doing many more videos. Some epic lines mm -hmm. and some epic cooking. Yeah, thank God I don't have to do too much of the cooking. We live in all the cooking on back now. So, I get to relax. I just get to eat now. I'm gonna be the taste tester. Taste tester. Slash sous chef. Hello, how are you going for dinner tonight? And you cooking good for everybody? Yeah, but when you eat, what am I going to eat? I feel like I'm going to eat your chicken and... Shut your ass with some hot pepper sauce. 